Thank you very much. I'm very pleased to be here indeed. And, and Namur uh, is not that far. It's a one hour drive from Aachen, and I feel almost <laughs> like at home here. Um, indeed. Uh, do I start? Okay. Then uh, just a brief introduction of myself. Indeed. Uh, I, um, I and we organized the first uh, two conferences on co working. It was uh, the last time was here in Germany, it was in Berlin. And um, actually, just a to, to, in a nutshell, co-working is just a same platform when, where people uh, working on their own projects work together with other people. And there we, we are in a crisis. We see that a number of uh, new co-working spaces are spreading out all over the world. There are one, more than 1,500 around the world. And the crisis is not only an economical crisis, a crisis of value, a, a crisis of the professional life. We know that in most of the corporation of the world today that's organized top-down. It's a uh, hierarchy indeed. It's something that uh, is a little bit uh, uh, just saying what you have to do and not partnership between the people who are working this company and the company and the purpose of that company. Then most of the time, I'm waiting for the next slide indeed, it's like in the army. You have officers, you have generals, and if you are soldiers, too bad for you. That you are just there to make what you have uh, asked to do. And um, sometimes you have the ability to escape, but most of the time, and especially at the time of crisis, uh, you will consider to um, <coughs> twice before you are heading to somewhere, someplace else. But you would like to do something. You, have, you, are, you, you haven't studied so much, to, especially for the new generation, just to be like a, a cog in a big machinery. You are someone who is analyzing something. You see that something is not working properly, but you take a lot of risk if you try to set up and to bring your idea out. At the end of the day, if you are just uh, um, something, someone pretty enthusiastic, uh, you just remain silent because it's too much risk as opposed to your boss to say what your tr true thinking is, and then you get bored. And you get bored, and if you are um, just in that position, you, you can be bored during a very long time. The problem is that for these companies who make their, their employees bored, it means that their innovation gets boring. And what is happening, it's a company, it's getting even faster today, that Nokia was the most admired company just uh, five, um, four or five years from now, and just it col it's collapsing today. Uh, it's collapsing, it's just, it has not yet collapsed, but Kodak, has collapsed, just if you have read in the newspaper a few days ago. And why did it collapse? Because it invented the digital camera, but it was not able to shift its initial business model towards the new uh, business model for digital camera and digital imaging. Even in new businesses, in new industries, which are very innovative and very, very promising, such as the green energy. You have companies like the Danish Vestas, who is struggling with a lot of competition coming from China. It happened in a few years only, and they, have to, they are downsizing their company from 10, uh, by a factor of 10%. What is happening now is indeed that we have spoken about the industry in Europe. They are fleeing away. But it's not only the, the, the industry which are fleeing away. It's also the people who are looking for some, something else. Uh, someone told me just a few days ago that uh, uh, someone from business school, very famous in France, that now we had the people who had the, the, the middle of crisis at the age of 30. <laughs> so happily, here comes the revolution. And the revolutions <laughs> come via social networks, comes with the, the flow of new, new ideas and the change in values. You have seen the people in, um, in Wall Street, for instance, who, who just uh, demonstrated again this new model. Uh, who, but it's not only a model of, uh, OK, we want just profit and, and, and kill the hearse or things like that. It's also a matter of, I want to feel good in my professional life. And then I will take in my own life. And some companies are understanding that today. We have mentioned a number just a few, a few minutes ago. And they're understanding that they will bring more value if they let the people manage themselves, bring their own ideas, manage the others and bring group together and collaborate together and not being managed or micromanaged by their boss. And they bring, will bring a lot more value out of that. Get more, let the people participate more. 
That's exactly what happened in co-working space today. I mentioned that mainly freelancers and entrepreneurs are working in, in co-working spaces. What we are seeing today is a co-working space is just, like Tobias just mentioned, the importance of the context and the location you are in just to let all these new ideas, new concepts, and new dynamic of co-creation, of open innovation, of just being around and be able to start something new out. At the age of what we call the laptop premiers, Today, for, to work, your office is just a laptop. It's just a Wi-Fi connection, and you, you have a smartphone, and you, are, you can work from any place. So the knowledge circulates. You know everything you need to know, and you can partner with someone else. And then the nice thing is that new tools also are emerging. They, they are, uh, one of these tools is what we call agile management, which is very famous in the world of the web industry or the IT industry, but more and more it's coming in new uh, way of, uh, of partnering. You have this concept of fast prototyping. That's not only really a matter that you let the people blossom, come and blossom new ideas out how they want, but also let them to execute the thing and see if they can fail off if the, if the idea is really good or not. You have this uh, very interesting also project in Aachen, street, scoot, uh, street scooter, that some of, some of you uh, maybe know, with the result of open innovation process. You can organize the open innovation process also within your organization and give recognition to the people. That's, uh, uh, that's an example from Novartis in Switzerland, so they're already five years old, and they call it the Biocamp, and the Biocamp is the idea of uh, making scan bar camp, just people being entrepreneurs within their corporation. And thanks to that, you will be able to reinvent, you, you, you will be able to reinvent, reinvent the wheel. That's something new, that's a new concept, also of organization, of management, that allow any company also to manage the uncertainty, what we mentioned just a few minutes ago, which is the new normal of any company, of any individual, and uh, of the world of today. Thank you.